Welcome Curious! At the time when everyone is reflecting on this past year and the things that they had gone through and the loved ones and friends that they might have lost, let's also remember the public figures. We are talking about artists and athletes who with their work or achievements have contributed to the creation of great things. This year, the world showed that show business has lost many people. Who did we say goodbye to and who had the opportunity to live to the old age and who had left at a young age? You better stay with us till the very end as we mention those who are no longer with us. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the the bell and the subscription button so you don't miss any of our future videos. The year 2020 started tragically in terms of passing. On January 26th, the whole world was shocked by the news of a private helicopter crash in the hills of Calabasas in Los Angeles County. The legendary 41-year-old basketball player Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, with whom he flew for training, as well as six other passengers and a pilot, all had their lives tragically ended. Kobe was considered one of the greatest stars of American basketball. He won the NBA championship five times with the Los Angeles Lakers. He even received an Oscar for his short film Basketball Road in 2018. In mourning, he left his wife Vanessa and three children, Natalia, Bianca, and baby Capri. On February 5th, Kirk Douglas had passed away. The legendary actor from the golden age of Hollywood had left us at the age of 103. The news was announced by his son, an equally valued actor in the film world, Michael Douglas. Kirk dreamed of being an actor since childhood. Initially, he worked on radio, played in commercials, and in theaters. He debuted on the big screen in 1946 in the film The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, and in 1950, he received his first Oscar nomination for Champion. He was nominated again in 53 for The Bad and the Beautiful and again in 57 for Lust of Life. He received an honorary Oscar in 1996 for his lifetime achievements. For some people, Valentine's Day in 2020 was a sad event as on that day, Lynn Cohen had passed away. She was a stage and television actress who started her career in the 70s and was known for playing powerful, impressive women. One of her most notable roles is of Magda on the HBO series Sex and the City. She would later reprise her role in the 2008 and movie version and later in its 2010 sequel. And some of our younger viewers will surely recognize her as Mags in The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Her Sex and the City co-star Sarah Jessica Parker took to her social media to pay tribute to Cohen, calling her Miranda's dear and necessary Magda. On March 8th, at the age of 90, we had to say goodbye to the legendary Swedish actor Max von Sydow. For our younger audience, if you've watched Game of Thrones, you certainly know this actor from the role as the Three-Eyed Raven. His role in the 1957 the Seventh Seal was what brought him worldwide recognition. He was also extremely popular after his performance in the movie The Exorcist, one of the top earning horror movies in cinema history. He was nominated for an Oscar twice and appeared in such films as Conan the Barbarian, Never Say Never Again, Shutter Island, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. In April, we lost Brian Dennehy. The actor was 81 years old, and among some of his work, he appeared at Sylvester Stallone's side in Fist four years later, and they met again, and this time on the set of First Blood. Other well-known films with his participation include Gorky Park, Silverado, Cocoon, and Legal Eagles. The following month on May 11th, we had to say goodbye to Jerry Stiller, who passed away at the age of 92. He was a classically trained actor who broke through as a comedy genius twice in the 1960s when he and his wife, and Mira, as a comedian team, and then in the 1990s, which is role that many remember him as Frank Costanza on the hit show Seinfeld, and some other more famous titles he appeared in were Zoolander 1 and 2, Hairspray, and Hot Pursuit. The news of his passing was announced by his son, famous comedy actor Ben Stiller, on his Twitter account. On June 19th, at the age of 88, the outstanding British actor Ian Holm had passed away. In 1981, he was nominated for an Oscar and received a BAFTA award for his supporting role in Chariots of Fire. In the minds of the audiences, Holm made his mark with the role of the android Ash in Alien and as Bilbo Baggins in the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit trilogies. Although it is always sad when a person passes away, it is so much harder to accept the loss when the said person is so young. And in June, at the age of 28, Kim Jung Hwan, more commonly known by his stage name, Johan, had lost his life. However, his family did not release the cause of his passing. He was a member of a K-pop band, TST, and even though the band did not stand out from the crowd like BTS, or Blackpink, the world of K-pop music has many supporters so the departure of this young man touched a lot of fans. The beginning of July brought more unpleasant news. On July 8th, in tragic circumstances, Glee actress Naya Rivera had lost her life. Initially, the search continued after her four-year-old son was found alone on a boat on one of the lakes in California. Unfortunately, an intensive rescue operation was not successful. Shortly afterward, people realized that the chances of finding the 33-year-old woman alive were slim. 
Her body was found only almost after a week of searching. She had drowned while rescuing her son, who had fallen into the water. A few days after Rivera's passing, the world of show business was once again in mourning. On July 12th, 57-year-old Kelly Preston lost her battle against cancer. The actress, who was married to John Travolta, was known from such movies as Jerry Maguire. Her passing was reported by her husband. Only last September, the couple celebrated their 28th wedding anniversary together with their children, Ella and Benjamin. The day after Preston's passing was announced, the world of entertainment was met with yet another tragedy, and this time it was the sudden loss of Grant Imahara who left us at the age of 49 after suffering from a brain aneurysm. The electric engineer and roboticist was known for hosting the popular science show Mythbusters, and Netflix's White Rabbit project as well as Star Trek continues. The same month, on July 26th, Olivia de Havilland had passed away. The actress was 104 years old and was the last living star of the Hollywood Golden Age. She won an Oscar twice for her roles to Each of His Own and The Harris. The world also remembers her as Melanie from Gone with the Wind. The following month, on August 18th, at the age of 72, the British actor Ben Cross had passed away after a short illness. His cinema debut was the famous production A Bridge Too Far. However, the world remembered him mainly thanks to the movie Chariots of Fire. He played several dozen roles, and among them as Spock's father in Star Trek, he was professionally active throughout his career until 2018. At the end of August, the world was shocked by the news of the passing of Chadwick Boseman when, on August 29th, the star of the movie Black Panther had lost his secret four-year fierce fight against colon cancer. He was only 43 years old. No month of this year has been free of information about the passing of people from the world of music or film. Diane Rigg had passed away on August 10th at the age of 82, and the reason for her passing, as in some other cases mentioned, was cancer. Her role in the television series The Avengers, which was extremely popular in the 60s, brought her popularity. In 1969, she played in a film about James Bond's adventures titled On Her Majesty's Secret Service. She was very active professionally and appeared in several dozen productions. However, most viewers, especially the younger ones, associate her mainly with her roles in the series of Game of Thrones, where she played Olena Tyrell, Marjorie's grandmother from Highgarden. This role brought her four Emmy Award nominations. According to her daughter, the actress lost her fight against cancer, which was diagnosed in March of this year. Her last film was Psychological Horror, Last Night in Soho, which is yet to be released. On September 21st, Jackie Stallone passed away. Sylvester Stallone's eccentric mother lost her life two months before her 99th birthday. She was known in Hollywood no less than her son, who played such iconic roles such as Rocky or Rambo. Jackie was a wrestler, hairdresser, worked in a circus, and a rumpologist who allegedly was Lady Diana's fortune teller. And so, we reach October, a month during which, on October 4th, we said goodbye to Kenzo Takada, a Japanese designer and a legend of the fashion world. He passed away at the age of 81 following complications with COVID-19. Two days later, on October 6th, we said goodbye to Eddie Van Halen, who lost his fight against cancer. He passed away at the age of 65. Eddie, a legendary guitarist in addition to his merits in the world of music and setting new trends that have shaped generations, has worked with other artists such as Michael Jackson and Brian May from Queen. And not even a week after we learned of Eddie's passing, we get more sad news from the world of showbiz, this time about the passing of the two-and-a-half men actress, Conchata Farrell. She was 77 when she left us following complications after a cardiac arrest. Besides being known from the show that starred Charlie Sheen, other titles fans might remember her are from ER, Krampus, and Edward Scissorhands. To dampen the mood of Hollywood, on October 31st, the world of cinema was shocked to hear about the passing of Sean Connery. The Scottish actor, who is 90 years old, is most famous famously known for his role as James Bond and being the first one to bring the role to the screen. During his acting career that spanned over seven decades, he had won an Oscar in 88 for the role of The Untouchables. The sad news was broken by his son, who said that his father passed away in his sleep after having been unwell for some time. And so we reach November, where on the 25th, the sports world mourned one of its greats, a man who some even revered as a god, and one who even had his own church. We are talking about the Argentinian football legend Diego Maradona. He was the captain of his country's team and won the 1986 World Cup with the famous Hand of God goal. Many footballers paid him tribute, and the Italian city of Naples where he played has renamed their San Paolo Stadium to the Diego Maradona Stadium. The athlete was 60 years old at the time of his passing. While the world of sport was in mourning, 
the world of cinema was hit with the loss of another legend when former bodybuilder Dave Prowse passed away at the age of 85. Despite being a former athlete, we'll most remember him for portraying Darth Vader in the original Star Wars movies. He was the person in the costume, with his imposing physique, but it was the voice of James Earl Jones that we hear in the movies. He also played Green Cross Code Man and the role of promoting road safety in the UK, and that won him an MBE title. Finally, we come to December, which has not spared us either. December 12th was the date that the British author, known by his pen name John Lee Carey, had lost his life at the age of 89 due to pneumonia. He has written many iconic books such as Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy, The Night Manager, which has been made into a BBC series that has starred Tom Hiddleston and Elizabeth Debitsky. Nearing the end of the year, we were once again met with another passing, and this time one coming from the world of fashion. The French designer, giant Pierre Cardon, had passed away at the age of 98. Born in Italy, he and his family immigrated to France when he was a young boy and started his career in the industry he worked for for other fashion houses such as Christian Dior. So curious, did you know that 2020 took so many important people from us? Whose passing shocked you the most? Are there any others that you can think of that we have possibly missed? And as always, don't forget to let us know in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to our video. So see you guys next time.